Sup, sup, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So uh, with my recent video talking about Hu Tao and Yelan, I've gotten a lot of newer players who are now DMing me because I do invite you guys. If you have any more detailed questions after watching these videos and you don't want to wait for another one of my videos, feel free to DM me. So uh, over the last few days, I've gotten hundreds of DMs. And if you guys know who you are, I've done my best to answer your questions and uh, to some of the people who I just couldn't get around. I'm making this video and I hope it reaches the right people because the amount of newer players that are just flooding into Genshin Impact, I don't know why, but Hoyover seems to be doing a ton more advertisements promoting the game. Uh, it could be because they see a lot of players starting to quit, veteran players or players who joined in 2.0. They don't really feel like sticking around much longer and once the 3.0 era meta stuff has kind of passed on right Nahida's out Dendro has slowly been fleshed out people don't really see the point in sticking around and now they're trying to replace these older players with newer ones if you're one of these new players welcome to Genshin Impact I hope you enjoy the stay and interesting enough I hope this video actually can help you extend your stay and not burn out in like five patches like most people would okay so we're going to be covering um, the options between Hu Tao's constellations, Yelan's constellations, as well as their weapon by comparison. So for example, should you be picking Yelan over a Staff of Home or should you go for C1 Hu Tao or a C0 Yelan? Stuff like that we're going to try to cover in this video, as well as things that you guys should definitely, if you're a newer player right now, definitely, definitely, definitely should start doing this very moment. In fact, <laughs> you should probably close out this video once I tell you what it is and go start doing that and come back and finish the rest of it once you get closer to the banners okay so like subscribe it's gonna really help me uh, as to push more content that you enjoy to your feed first and foremost as you guys see i have the hu tao team here one of the first things you guys should be doing right this very moment if you are a new player is let's see if i can find in first try i can is go to this domain okay because it doesn't matter if you're getting hu tao it doesn't matter if you're getting yelan this is hu tao's artifact this is Yelan's artifact. You should be using Yes, I know there are people who will say, well, Hutan can use the fire domain. Don't touch that domain. Okay, as somebody who's played this game, and as all veteran players will tell you, that domain is cursed. Hoyoverse did something to the numbers. That domain is absolutely atrocious when it comes to drop rate. Don't touch it. Don't ever touch it. This domain is so high in value because... Uh, first and foremost, the Emblem of Severed Fate, even if you don't pull Yelan, this artifact is used by like five, six characters minimum in the game. So many characters can take advantage of it. It's such a powerful artifact set, and it's arguably one of the top three artifact sets in the game. It's so universal and powerful. I want to get it through to people that this is probably the best thing you can farm. You farm three sets, three complete sets of this, and you won't feel like th there's no use for them. And on top of that, the Shimanawa set is not as good when it comes to its usefulness towards, um, let's say, a bunch of units. It's a DPS oriented set, and in most cases, it's very difficult to fully utilize this set's effect. Um, even for Hu Tao, you are going to be losing a bit of power here if you ever do have to use her burst skill to heal. But understand that as long as you use your elemental skill first and use her burst afterwards and then recharge some of her energy through your other characters, let's say if you have a Yelan or a Xingqiu, you can always run a Favonius weapon on them. Yelan can run Favonius boat. If you have Zhongli on the team, you can have him run Favonius lance. In fact, you can have Xingqiu on Favonius sword. You can have Yelan on Favonius boat and you can have Zhongli on Favonius lance. So once you cycle through all three of them, Hu Tao will have enough energy to once again take advantage of this four piece. It's not a detriment to Hu Tao's rotation as long as you understand the disadvantages of running this set and you work around that. Okay. So for newer players, I know that could be a earful what I just said, but the fact that I I was trying my best to hammer home the importance of farming up multiple sets of the Emblem of Severed Fate set. Xingqiu uses it, Yelan uses it, Jiang Ling uses it, uh, Raiden Shogun uses this, Kuchasaraka, you get my point. So many people use this set. That's why if you're not an Itazuma yet, uh, I highly encourage you to work through the story, get to the AR level, and unlock Inazuma. It is located to the bottom right side of the map. You start the game right here in Mondstadt, and you'll go through a journey to Liyue, and then eventually it'll take you to Inazuma. It shouldn't take you more than a week, I would say, if you're really uh, playing it right or optimally. Even if you're playing non-optimally and kind of on and off days, you should be getting to it in like over a week, right? Maybe under two weeks, you should be able to get there. I want to get there, do some quests, and the, the domain is here. I believe if you want to skip forward, like you can kind of just skip some things. I think you have to do the quest for the main island to get off of this main island. And then from there on, it's just up to you. Unlock this domain, 
and hopefully you're like ar46 i believe and you can guarantee the five star drop and just dump all your resin into this domain thankfully hu tao and yelan are coming in the second half so like I i'm sure this is the best advice anyone can give you for any new players or players who have been kind of lost on what they sh should be doing in fact even most veteran players could still come back and farm better pieces raiden shogun is known to be one of the most um intricate character stat wise because according to how you balance your stats you can run an energy regen sand you can run the electric damage uh, goblet or you could be running an energy regen sands with uh, an attack percent goblet right it all depends on the subset so that all comes from the quality of artifact that you farm so that's gonna be that um really that's the only thing you should be doing right now before 3.4 arrives and once 3.4 arrives here's my next piece of good ish advice you're gonna be getting a free four star during the lunar new year event and uh, they're gonna be liyue themed characters and one of the best four stars is Xingqiu. especially for newer players you likely don't have this character now let me just highlight the importance of this character Xingqiu is probably around the top five best four stars in the game maybe top three and even including five stars he's still ranked in the same tier as somebody like hu tao as somebody like yelan like Zhong Li. uh i don't want to oversell him he's not like the end all be all of all units uh but a lot of people would say yelan is a character that surpasses xingqiu but at the same time yelan can't fully replace him because the importance of having an off-field hydro applicator who is also dps oriented is invaluable there's just not enough in the game and oftentimes people will find that just because they have Xingqiu doesn't mean they have a kind of access to all the flexibility that he brings because oftentimes in Abyss you want to run one on one team and one on the other team that's why oftentimes you'll see people get both Xingqiu and Yelan but regardless of that point he synergizes with a lot of great teams and if you're a newer player yes Yao Yao is new and exciting and you're gonna see a lot of people making videos talking about Yao Yao being like yeah Yao 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 but that's targeted towards veteran players who have like all the four stars pretty much fleshed out already and just trying to expand into some new territory there because Yao Yao is also one of a kind unit being a dendro healer and that is incredibly valuable but for somebody who's just getting started uh, I think Xingqiu is probably one of the better units for most free to plays to pick up, right? Now, that's all the prep that you can possibly do. And now let's talk about the value. When it comes to value, I think I've hammered it home, or I hope I did, that between Hu Tao and Yelan, if both are valued at C0, Yelan is going to be the more valuable one. You want to pick up Yelan over Hu Tao, she's more flexible and she can do a lot more things. And I mentioned earlier that she kind of replaces Xingqiu in many teams, but really you can use them side by side. And there are some team comps simultaneously using Yelan and Xingqiu as hyper carries uh synergizing with anemo support running verdescence and shredding the enemy's hydro resistance to allow both Xingqiu and yelan to deal more damage and you can even slap a zhongli in there as a shielder a really really good team to further shred more and protect them and Xingqiu offers some pseudo healing meaning that you don't really need a healer in that team incredibly powerful double hydro also gives hg bonuses which gives more healing for Xingqiu, gives more damage to yelan and gives a fatter shield for zhongli absolute chef's kiss perspective to anybody who want to run these kind of team comps and don't worry you can guarantee a xingqiu you can get your yelan next patch and maybe zhongli will run in the future and on top of that you can run most uh, anemo characters as some sort of your destined substitute until you get someone like kazuha okay that's going to be the c0 comparison now the biggest question i've had people now is just throwing curveballs at me right like okay what if i get like yelan and hu tao but should i get hu tao's weapon or yelan's weapon if they're both at c0 if they're both at c0 i feel like hu tao likely will benefit more from getting her weapon than yelan at c0 this changes once yelan gets to c1 because once yelan gets to c1 she can leverage a lot more power back into her stats both artifact and weapon then c1 yelan justifies it more with uh her aqua simulacra because it can really boost her power up more because her energy issues are pretty much non-existent anymore but then again hu tao c1 can also be justified in a similar way but you know dps characters come very often it's very rare you find a character like yelan or you oftentimes just don't have enough of yelan uh, to go around if you know what i mean 
not that way get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about her power and presence in team synergies. So Hu Tao actually has some decent choices for free to play weapons, even damage oriented ones because she is a DPS character, whereas Yelan has to choose oftentimes between utility being getting enough energy particles to use her burst on cooldown versus damage, which is the Aqua Simulacra. And but then forsaking the fact that uh, she needs to get her particles to use her burst to begin with, right? So that's a very big dilemma. So my point here is, if both characters are at C0, the weapon of choice probably goes to the Staff of Homa for your Hu Tao, right? But if Yelan is C1 and Hu Tao is C1, then the Aqua Simulacra seems to be the better pickup here. Now, let's say Hu Tao is C1, Yelan is C0, obviously. Staff of Homa. If Yelan is C1, Hu Tao is C0, obviously the Aqua Simulacra. Now, I hope at this point you guys will start to see my point when it comes to evaluating these two characters. Hu Tao, on one hand, is one of the best DPS characters in the game, but then DPS characters comes very often. That's why it drops her value a lot, right? It's like Zhao is a decent DPS as well. There's Ganyu, there's Ayaka, there's Ito. There's so many different DPSs out there, but whereas Yelan is very difficult to replace. Yes, you got other off field DPS characters. Characters, but they're not hydro oriented such as albedo still superb off your dps but then again hydro leans so much more into the effectiveness of yelan's relevancy in the meta so that's why there's so much emphasis being placed on yelan all in all it's all up to you guys but i'm just gonna drop it all here i hope this video has helped you guys uh start grinding those artifact domains pick up shin chu if you are a newer player and then decide which one you want to go even if you want yelan shin chu is still going to pair up really well with yelan and if not pairing together then they function very good on separate teams as well okay hope that has helped you guys i'm so excited for the next patch because uh it's great to see people coming into the game and getting excited about it and uh thank you hoyoverse for running all these ads <laughs> but until next time urge you all to stay safe please please dm me if you have any more questions i can only answer so much i'm trying to speed rapid fire to not make this video like 25 minutes long so yeah until next time urge you all to stay safe peace peace bye